Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a honey chicken meal prep for $20. So if you guys like this video idea, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so for more videos just like this. So we're gonna go in there, grab our groceries, and then head back to the house and show you how to cook a meal prep for under $20. So come on, let's go. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off with our protein. Now, you can use breast or thighs for this. I personally am going with breast, and that's coming in at $6, $6.17. So chicken breast or thighs would be great for this recipe. Okay, now a honey chicken goes perfect with rice, but to keep it low carb, I'm gonna go with a rice cauliflower packet, which comes in at $3.49. Now, if you were doing just a regular white rice, that would be even more budget friendly. But again, for me, it's worth it to keep it low carb at $3.49. Thumbs up. So let's get the rest of our veggies and get out of here. Okay, now for texture, this isn't a veggie that I use too often, but where are they? These little snow peas, they're like kind of snappy and I feel like in the meal prep, they really, really complement this dish well. So if you don't like snow peas or you're just not familiar, they don't really have a taste. So don't like, yeah, don't be afraid of these, but you could also use green beans instead of snow peas. So either or will work. Okay, now another veggie that I love adding into meal preps is zucchini. So squash is low in calories, low in carbs. It has a lot of bulk. Of course, you're getting all the vitamins and nutrients from your veggies, but honestly, I just feel like it complements everything so well. So we're doing two of these guys and I'll put them in a little plastic bag right now. And then lastly, now I know some people, some people hate cilantro. I love cilantro. If you don't like it, you can omit it altogether. I personally just like it as garnish. Sometimes I do add it into my, into my actual meals, but I'm still gonna take it um, cilantro is usually very um, inexpensive. So in this case, this is organic. You can find non-organic as well, but at 149, I feel like it's worth it. So we're gonna get this into a little baggie. Um, and that is it guys. Look at our meal. Look at all of our, um, what we picked up. And this is all we need for our honey chicken. Oh, you know what? A little lime because citrus for something like this goes so well with the sweetness. So let me get a lime and then we're good to go. All right, and to bring it all together, a little lime for citrus. This is 50 cents. There are two for a dollar right now, so we just need one. And that is it, guys. We have all of our groceries for a honey chicken meal prep under $20. All right, guys, it is so hot outside right now. So I have my tumbler with me at all times, water and ice, because if not, I just won't drink enough throughout the day. So I'm gonna add in one of my little packets. This is the mango chili from Element. It has electrolytes, minerals, super clean ingredients. So the salt that they use in here is also really healthy. It has all of the minerals, which salt is actually really, really important because we sweat throughout the day. So this is just kind of like an all-in-one. It tastes delicious. It makes me drink my water because honestly, guys, I do not drink enough water. But if you guys, this one here, if you guys have not tried the chili mango, it is so delicious. You can mix it into a cocktail. You can make it into like a blended, I just like to drink it into like my tumbler like this because it's just easy. Right now, Element will send you a sampler pack with any purchase. So you can buy any flavor and they'll send you the sampler pack and then you can choose which one is your favorite flavor. But I'll leave the link in the description below. Anyway, this one here. Oh, so good. My water is so, so cold. Mm. Yum. Okay, let's go home. We're gonna make our meal prep. You're gonna see how delicious it turns out. All right, guys, so back from the grocery store, we have all of our stuff to make our honey chicken meal prep. Now, remember, if you're ordering honey chicken at a restaurant, you're probably gonna pay way more than what all of this costed for a meal prep with just one dish. So this is great, whether you're making it for a meal prep or maybe even you have a bigger family, so you're gonna make this for dinner. It's gonna be super delicious, super nutritious, which is super important. But one of the things that um, is most important to me are the ingredients because when you're eating out, um, they're usually using like a canola oil or like, canola, um, corn, a vegetable oil, all of those oils because they're highly processed are super inflammatory and just like really bad for your gut health. So we're gonna use, when you're cooking at home, we're using either avocado oil, an olive oil, uh, maybe even like a coconut oil, um, or even like there's fats that are super, super healthy. So anyway, the good thing is that not only are we going to make like a budget friendly meal, it's gonna be less expensive and it's gonna be super, super, super clean. So we have our rice. Now, 
If you are, if your family is not low carb, then you can make regular, just use regular rice. I'm using Kali rice to obviously keep it low carb. It's what I use for my meal preps. Um, what I'm gonna do just while I set this up, stick this baby into the oven, into the, oven, <laughs> into the uh, microwave. So this will go in for about three, four minutes. You wanna make sure you do not skip this step because um, you'll end up with mushy rice. So we don't want that. Um, so now let's go ahead and cut this up. We will, I'm gonna show you how easy this is to throw together. Now, this can be made stovetop, but usually when you're doing like a meal prep, um, like say you're doing like meal prep Sunday or something, I always think, okay, how can I make multiple things at the same time? So this one, I'm gonna to toss into the air fryer, but you can cook it stovetop. But my thing is, if you're meal prepping, do something in the air fryer, something in the stove, and maybe even something in the oven so that you can kind of just be super efficient with your time. So this one, air fryer, I'm just gonna chop this up and then um, I'll show you how I throw all of this together, okay? Before I get my cutting board dirty, let's go ahead and just cut our zucchini first, okay? So this is also kind of like a one pan meal. Okay, so you're literally gonna be able to toss this all in together, and then once it comes out, you're good to go. Like you can ah, put it straight into your meal prep, meal prep containers, or again, if it's going to if it's going to be for your um, if it's gonna be for dinner, then you could just serve straight straight away. Okay, so our rice is done. I'm just gonna kind of do, what is this, like a half moon shape? I, feel, I like it just because I think like it looks really pretty in the, when it cooks, but you can dice it, you can literally do whatever you prefer. Cause I know some people are really picky about like how their veggies are cut and stuff. I'm really not, I just think more of like, not so much presentation, but also just like how I'm gonna feel when I'm actually eating it. So I like big pieces like this. So that's why I'm doing, you know, just kind of like a half moon, but again, diced or um, whatever you prefer is going to work. And now what I do for these meal preps, because I want the sauce to get all into, you know, just to get over the veggies, like the veggies, the chicken, everything. I put it right into a Ziploc. little guy in a bit so we'll start off by adding in all of our veggies so let's go ahead and add in our zucchini Try to get the most of it in there now I'm just gonna go ahead and dice this so if you like your chicken um, sliced you can totally do that I just think like big chunks for this is it just works well so we're gonna do bigger chunks but anyway at the end of the day um, in terms of the protein, it really is just up to you. I'm using a breast because it's leaner and I personally just like it more. So you will use whatever you prefer, okay? So now let's go ahead and toss in our chicken. Let me get it all in there and not have it go all over my counter. Okay. And these one pan meals are so easy. Again, this is gonna go straight into my air fryer but you can also bake it. Like if you throw it onto a cookie sheet, like a baking sheet, just toss everything, then drizzle it with all your sauces, poof, throw it into the oven and you have a super, super quick meal. So we have our avocado oil, pepper, some salt, a little onion powder. I'm gonna do like some garlic, onion. Um, we're gonna do some sugar-free honey. Let me grab that really quickly. So if you don't have sugar-free honey, you can also use um, sweetener your sweetener of choice, or even regular honey, okay? I'm just using a sugar-free honey to keep it super low carb. And I um, almost forgot our little snow peas. These are really good, they're crunchy, it just adds a texture to your meal. So um, these here are just gonna add like a nice crunch. Now, I feel like when you're making any type of meal prep, you also want to have like you wanna make sure you add the veggies because the veggies is, not only does it add the vitamins and nutrients to your dish, it also adds fiber because veggies are fiber. Even though they are a carb, they are a healthy carb and um, it has bulk. It adds bulk to your meal, okay? So this is gonna add crunch and bulk, okay? Look at that. Okay, so we're gonna add in a little avocado oil. going to 
to do some onion powder, a little garlic powder, okay. I love to make sure that my food is seasoned, okay? <laughs> do not judge. I like, my stuff needs to be flavored, guys. I need all that flavor. Pepper. Okay, and none of these seasonings have salt, so we're gonna add in our salt. Some of, sometimes your garlic powder and onion powder might have um, salt in it, so you don't, you wanna be careful with this salt, but those don't, so we wanna make sure we do get our salt, okay? And then we have our sugar-free honey. So this here is what's gonna give us the sweetness. And I will leave this linked in the description below. This is the one from Chalk Zero. It is super delicious and um, it doesn't have all the, all the sugar. So super important um, if you are trying to stay low carb. Now for our lime, this is gonna add acidity to the dish, which is important when you're using um, sugar or you're using honey, um, usually to get like that, those flavor um, profiles that you're looking for, like when you taste something, there is like a balance. There's always a balance, which is why, like say for instance, um, salt goes really well in desserts. You don't actually taste it, but it balances out. It like almost enhances the, um, the flavors in your dessert. So same scenario here. So we're gonna add in some fresh squeezed lime juice. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good mix, okay? And this is how I meal prep my honey chicken, guys. Okay, so obviously we are gonna cook it right now, right? But if you didn't wanna cook this now, you could literally meal prep like this. So there's different ways of meal prepping. Some people make all their meals and put them into their containers, or you can put them in a bag. So you can do your beef, your chicken, you know, whether you wanna make a broccoli beef and then you have your honey chicken and then you have maybe like a, like a Mexican, you know, fajitas or something. You could literally have them like this and keep them in your fridge. So when you're ready to cook, if you have a big family or something, you're, you save so much time because you just grab your bag and either throw it into the air fryer, throw it into the oven, or even cook it stovetop with, let's say, um, with some rice or rice and beans or a salad, whatever the case is. But these are just ways for you to save time and obviously save money because um, eating out or even not being conscious of like what you're spending here and there, you can end up spending a lot more money. So this just really, really makes my life a lot easier to be honest. And I cannot wait for you guys to see how this turns out. It's so delicious, really just always hits the spot. And um, this tastes really, really delicious with rice, regular rice. Now I'm using Kali rice because I wanna keep it low carb, but when it does come to that time of the month, um, that is the time, and let me know if you guys want me to talk about this a little more. Um, there is a week during the month where your body actually needs more carbs as a woman. If you're not a woman, this obviously does not pertain to you, but as a woman, even if you're living a low carb lifestyle, there is a week out of the month where you should actually give your body more carbs. Now, I'm not talking about Doritos, I'm not talking about some cookies, I'm talking about a complex carb, where we're talking about like a sweet potato, some white rice, um, some regular potatoes, some things like that that are actually natural. Um, that is what you're looking for when you're trying to incorporate uh, um, more carbs to your diet. So for the air fryer, so you don't make a huge mess, air fryer liners are literally life, life changing. I'm not even joking. These, there's no way that I will run out of those because I use this air fryer all the times, at least once, twice a day. So now we're just gonna go ahead and toss this in and probably even make two batches of this because my air fryer is not that big, which is fine because we will have enough for another meal. Okay, so let me just make sure that we have enough chicken in this batch because we definitely know we have a lot of veggies, but yeah, there's a really good amount of chicken in here. Now, the only thing, the only thing that I'm gonna add is a little bit of tamari, which is just kind of like a gluten-free soy sauce. You can also do like coconut aminos, um, but I feel like it's just gonna, just a little, okay? I'm not gonna drench it, because remember, I did put salt. If I didn't put salt, then it would have been great to do this, because it just adds flavor. But we already have a lot of flavor. We have our sugar-free honey, and we have our lime juice. So remember, even if you don't have the sugar-free honey, you can use regular honey, 
or um, like your sweetener of choice. And then with a little bit of tamari, a little bit of lime. So 400 degrees. We'll check it in about 13 minutes. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and make our rice. So I'm gonna do a cauli rice. Um, again, you can use regular rice just to keep it low carb, but I'm doing a cauli rice. So this will be for another meal. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Put this in my fridge. And let's move on to our rice. Okay, so now for our rice. So this here, what you wanna do is make a little hole right at the top. And then you wanna get a dish towel or something cause it will be hot. Make it small so that the rice doesn't start flying out. You wanna wring out the excess water just like this. You do not wanna keep that into your cauli rice or you will end up with mushy rice. <laughs> so let's just get all that out and then It'll take about two minutes to cook, just stove top. Okay, so I think that's good enough. Now let's go ahead and cook this, which you guys will see how fast. I'm gonna get a small pan. Put this on a medium high. We're gonna do a little bit of avocado oil. Now you can do this super plain because the meat is gonna have a lot of flavor but you could still even make like maybe a little cilantro lime rice, just add a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of lime juice, um, or just salt and pepper. Either way is gonna work. Um, I just wanna show you how easy it is to throw this together. If you're making cauli rice for like the whole familia, then you do want, you're gonna want more, a little more, maybe two or three bags. But if this is just for you and like, a meal prep, then you can, this is good for two. And I'm gonna add a little bit of, probably just a little salt and pepper. Doesn't really need much. Salt. Pepper. Any water that was left from kind of wringing it out, then you would just cook it out right here. All right, guys, so look at this. I got my snow peas a little extra crispy. This is how I like them. They, it just gives it like a little crunch, almost kind of like a chip type vibes. Like, mm, I love them, which is perfect. All right, guys, so our rice is done. We have our protein done. Meal prep containers are on the counter, so now I'm just gonna assemble them. So the first thing that's going in is our rice. I usually try to make it as even as possible. And if you don't want to do rice, guys, you can always do a salad. I would do, you know, depending on my mood, either salad or rice for sure. Now we have our protein. So this is our honey, honey lime chicken. Guys, I know, I know you're probably judging this, but don't. It is so good. So many different flavors and textures that just work so well together. And remember, I have half of the other, um, the rest of this meat in the bag. I'm just saving it for, you know, just another day. I can even throw it into the freezer. And when I'm ready to make it, I just bring it out and it's already done. But this here is super filling, super nutritious, and obviously delicious, obviously. And then this juice right here is gold. So we're gonna pour a little bit of that on top. So then once I heat it up, it will be, um, you know, just nice and juicy. And if you wanna be super precise about your food, then obviously you can always um, weigh out, your, weigh out your, your food. Go ahead and get some of that sauce. This would even go good on your rice, but I don't want to put on the rice because it will, you know, just make it kind of soggy where right now it's nice and fluffy. But once you heat it up, then you can transfer the rice over. All right, guys, what do you think of this meal prep? Let me know a little bit of everything in it. I feel like it's perfect for lunch, nice, healthy lunch or dinner, you know, whether you're meal prepping or just making it for your familia. Um, you guys are gonna love this for sure. All right guys, now I personally love sriracha. If you don't like sriracha, you can use any sauce, hot sauce, or eat just as is. Um, I personally just think it kind of takes it over the top. So I'm doing a little sriracha. And this is also optional because I know how some people are like, how they feel about cilantro, but I love it. 
So we're also just gonna do a little bit of cilantro right on top. You can even just top your rice if you want. That is how I am finishing off this meal prep. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of everything for that perfect bite. All right, cheers guys. This tastes better than restaurant quality. I'm telling you. Flavorful. The chicken is juicy. I'm telling you, my chicken never comes out dry. Super juicy, super flavorful. This meal prep is low in calories, low in carbs, and full of protein, which for me is super important. Especially if you're like on a little weight loss journey or you're just trying to make like healthier choices in your life in terms of like what you eat. This right here, a lot of the meal preps that I'm gonna be showing, um, showing you and sharing with you are going to be right up that alley. I'll leave some of my favorite meal preps in the description below. Go watch those, make them, you're gonna love them. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that little like button. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, go do so and um, turn the little post notification bell on so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Um, if you guys have friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle, guys, videos like this might be super helpful for them. So make sure you share that with them. But thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.